Hello everyone, welcome to Land Rover in Huddersfield. Today we've got a Jaguar X-Type V6 alone, 2 litre petrol in Adriatic Blue. One previous owner, Pasha's Franchise Service History, and I'll say that we've got it all stamped up until 2010 at 21,000 miles, but we haven't got a record of a service then. The owner has done his own services since then, but the current mileage is only at 34,000 miles, so there's not much that much in it. MOT until the 10th of September 2016. So closer inspection of the car. As you can see here, here is some slightly scuffed to the paintwork there on the front bumper. Apart from that, there is hardly any stone chips whatsoever. A couple of surface scratches is knocking about on the front there. But there are hardly any stone chips whatsoever. I can see one there and that's about it. Again, you've also got a slight little scuff there to the paintwork. Just ever so slight there. Couple of chips. Again, scanning across the bonnet, it's in excellent order. So is the windscreen. Nothing to report. Scanning over this front arch here. So you can see it will require a slight little touch up there. You've got a scratch there. You've got a deeper scratch there. I can just about barely get my finger nail in there. And that's about it. Checking out this tread on this tail, you're talking four and a half mil in the center, but it is wearing down on the inside edge. Alloy will require a refurb. It's bubbling in various places, as you can see. So slight refurb on that alloy. Panning it down on the near side of the car. As you can see, it's very, very straight and clean. Not much to report, hardly any surface scratches on this side. We require one little touch up there, but that could polish out to be honest. Windows are in excellent condition. So is this back door. Panning over this arch here, we've got some slight bubbling appearing there. Hopefully you can see that. And a minor surface scratch there. This alloy will require refurb, as you can see, just slightly bubbling around the inside edges. Tread door, oh, I have to turn it upside down. Tread, you're talking uh, five and a half mil of tread on that one. Panning across to the rear of the car, again, very, very clean car, to be honest. Hardly any surface scratches or damage to the rear there. Windows are fine. Main damage to the car, as we come to here, as you can see, it's peeling off a bit, the metal chrome there. Just peeling off and you have got a crack to the paintwork there. If you can see, but that's about it. And also you've got some damage to the paintwork there also. But that's about it, that's the main damage to this car. Apart from that, this car is really highly kept. Nothing to report there. Again, panning across, that will require another refurb. Slight refurb, it's curved on the edges and it is bubbling on the inside edges. Tread, again, you're talking about, turn upside down, sorry, about six mil of tread on that one. Windows are in good nick. So panning across, you've got a scuff, uh, scratch to the bottom there. Couple of surface scratches, just knocking about here and there. And that's about it. Come over to this front arch here. It's, it's, uh, it's slightly scuffed, not very deep, but it is scuffed on the top arch there. This alloy will require a refurb, as you can see. Tread, you're talking four and a half in the centre, but it is wearing down on the inside edge. So there we have it, guys. Moving on to the boot, as you can see, it's more or less brand new in here. If we lift up the, got your spare space saver, wheel nut, toe and eye, etc. Moving along to the inside, as you can see, people, it's really highly maintained, this car can't find anything to moan about. Check out the head trim, really clean inside there. So move along to the front of the car. Again, as you can tell, looking in the mats, this car is really, really clean. Highly maintained car. Just jump in, looking along the dash there, and the windscreen, very clean car. Got your MOT, your V5, service all stamped up. We've got two sets of keys, so let's fire up. As you can hear, it starts up really nice. Mileage is at 34,306. So really low mileage on this one. It's close up of your central console unit. As you can see, it's hardly any scratches, any damage whatsoever. So there you have it guys, your X-Type Jaguar.